Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little lovely. Um, I don't know what the real names of these are, but whenever I search them they're always called lovelies. But it's like a little baby blanket for a baby to just hold and to chew and everything on the blanket. So for this, you're going to need a 4mm crochet hook and a 2mm crochet hook for the head one of these this is the yarn that i use madame cotton and that's them on the back i use only one but sometimes you need another one just in case so make sure you got two just to be on the safe side and a brown black and then a little pink for the cheeks well you can still use this one for the cheeks yeah so let's get started okay so first we're going to start with the blanket so I'm going to make a magic ring. And you're going to chain three. So one, two, three. Make sure you leave a little bit of a towel so you can sew in the end at the so you can weave in the ends. Now we're going to do eleven double crochets into this magic ring. So when you're finished, this Chain three right here will count as a double crochet, so you have 12 double crochets at the end. So let's go ahead and do 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So let's count the double, the chain three as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So pull that hole closed, and you're going to identify the chain, the top of the chain three, and slip stitch. Now, row two is chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to do two double crochets in every single stitch. So this stitch that we just came out of counts as a double crochet. So we're going to do one double crochet into that same stitch. And now the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets in the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. So two double crochets in every single stitch until you have 24 single crochets and I'll meet you back when I've done mine so I've counted mine I have 24 all the way around now you're going to slip stitch into that top of that chain three now we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to forget about this at the minute so we're going to skip this stitch right here the, the next stitch we're going to go into that second stitch. So do a double crochet into the second stitch. Chain two. One, two. And double crochet into that same stitch. Like so. So skip one, go into the next stitch. Chain two. And double crochet in the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. And I'll meet you back when I get to my end here and I'll show you how to attach. Okay, and it should look something like this. And you should have 12 points. So these little V shapes right here, you should have 12 of them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that little chain 3 that we forgot about, we're going to double crochet into that stitch that we chained three from like that chain two and in the top of that chain three you're going to slip stitch so one two and three slip stitch and that will be our 12th v now sing not single crochet slip stitch until you get to this little v shape now we're going to start on row four. So you're going to chain three, 
one, two, three. Double crochet, chain two, and then do two double crochets in the same stitch. Just like that, get more yarn. And then in every single V-shape, you're going to do that. So two single crochets. And by the way, this chain three counts as a double crochet. So that looks like two. So you're going to do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the same stitch. Like that. In every single V, you're going to repeat that. And I'll meet you back when I have done mine. Okay, and it will look something like this. Now you're going to slip stitch in the top of that chain three. And then you're going to slip stitch in there and slip stitch into that chain two space. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Double crochet. Chain two. And double crochet in that same stitch. Now, can you see that little bit right here? You're going to double crochet into there. And now you're going to skip, skip these two and double crochet into this one. Into that third one. And then double crochet into the chain two space. Two times. Chain two. And double crochet two more times like that and again in that little piece right there you're going to double crochet into there skip them two go into the third one and do a double crochet two double crochets in the chain two space chain two and double crochet two times and you're going to repeat that all the way round and you'll see that you're starting to get three more extras on your up and down v's and i'll meet you back when i've done mine okay so here you'd have to do a double crochet into there so there's three and then identify the top of the chain three and do a slip stitch. Then slip stitch again, again until you get to the chain two space. Now we're going to do chain three. One, two, three. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Two times. Let's get more yarn. Okay. Now again, you're going to go into this part, do a double crochet right into there and into the next one. So you have one, two, three, four. These two here, you're going to skip and go into the third one and do a double crochet, double crochet into the next one and then do two double crochets into the chain two, chain two. And two double crochets okay so we're going to be adding an extra stitch so now we have four double crochets instead of three okay so now you're going to carry on doing that so into that piece double crochet into the second one skip these two go into the third stitch into that up Chain two, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And I'll meet you um, guys back when I've done mine. Okay. So now identify the top of the chain three and do a slip stitch. Now slip stitch into the next one, but don't go into the chain two space because this row is going to be different. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, do one double crochet into the chain two space, 
chain two and one double crochet and then do the exact same as what we did when we on when we do the two double crochets so you just go all the way down so double crochet into every single stitch until you get to these two at the bottom skip these two identify the third one and double crochet and go all the way up and then the chain two you go one double crochet chain two one double crochet okay and you're going to repeat that all the way down sorry not all the way down all the way round and i'll meet you back when i've done mine okay so you're going to identify that chain three and slip stitch slip stitch and slip stitch into that chain two space now get a piece of string or a stitch marker but I like to use a piece of string you're going to mark the row that we've just finished like so now we're going to do two more rows and once you finish the second row when you go into the row third, the, on the third row, you're going to repeat this row. So you don't do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. You're going to be doing one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. Okay, so one, two, three, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Two times. And you're going to single crochet all the way, not single crochet, sorry, double crochet into all of these and once you get to these ones right here you skip them and you double crochet all the way up and you're going to do two rows and i'll rip i'll meet you guys back when i've done my two rows okay so i've done my two rows and now we're going to repeat this row right here where we did one double crochet chain two one double crochet so we're going to chain three, one, two, three, one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet into that ch chain two space. Then we double crochet all the way down. All the way down till you get to them two at the bottom. We're going to skip them two, go into the third stitch, and double crochet all the way up into every stitch one double crochet chain two one double crochet and you're going to repeat that all the way round and then you're going to change this marker to the row that you'll finish and then you're going to repeat these two rows and then you're going to do the repeat this row again so every three rows is a repeat and you're going to repeat that until you get to row 11 and I'll meet you guys back when I've finished mine. Okay, so I've finished mine and sorry I kind of said it wrong. It's not the 11th row, it's the 17th row. And when you finish, this would be there and then you'd have one row. You don't finish the second row. So I've slip stitched in a few. And then you're going to cut and fasten off and then we're going to start doing the head okay so we're going to start doing the head i like to use 100 percent cotton from catinia and this is the number of the color so let's get started so you're going to get your 2mm crochet hook and we're going to make six single crochets into a magic ring so one two three four five six and we'll close it then get a piece of string or a stitch marker but i like to use a piece of string now we're going to start on row two 
Row two is increase in every single stitch. So two single crochet in every single stitch all the way around and you'll have 12 single crochets all together. Okay, now we're going to start on row three and it is one single crochet increase. So one and then in the next stitch, two single crochet in the same stitch. Repeat, so one single crochet, next stitch, two single crochet in the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Now we're going to start on row four. And row four is two single crochet increase. So one, two, and in the third stitch you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. So one, two, and then increase. One, two, increase. Okay, now the next row is three single crochet increase, so one, two, three, next stitch increase, so two in the same stitch, repeat, so one, two, three, and increase, and you're going to repeat that all the way round, and I'll meet you back when I've done mine. Okay, so row six is four single crochet increase. One, two, three, four. And then this next stitch, two in the same stitch. Repeat. One, two, three, four. And two in the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you back. Okay, so now row seven is five single crochet increase so one two three four five increase so two in the same stitch repeat so one two three four five and two in the same stitch i'm going to repeat that all the way around okay the next row is row eight and it's six single crochets, increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. I'm gonna repeat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around. Okay, so now row nine is seven single crochets increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Increase, so two in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two in the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way round. Now row um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So row 10, it is 
eight single crochets increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the next stitch we're going to do increase. So two in the same stitch. Again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two in the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, so the next row is going to be a repeating row. So you're going to single crochet in every single stitch all the way around. So one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around until you get to row 21. So you're going to be doing 11 rows or just one single crochet in every single stitch. And I'll meet you back when I've reached my 21st row. Okay, so this is what it should look like. And I've done 11 rows, so you'll be finishing on row 21. Now we're going to go start on row 22. Now you're going to do 8 single crochets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And decrease, so you go in, in the next stitch, and pull through all. And you're going to repeat that. So, 8 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then decrease. And you're going to repeat that all the way around, and I'll meet you back when I've done mine. Okay, so now we're going to start on row 23, and that is 7 single crochets decrease. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and decrease. Repeat that, so 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, and decrease. And you're going to repeat that all the way round. Okay, now we're going to start on row 24. And we're going to do six single crochets, decrease. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And decrease again so one two three four five six and decrease and you're going to repeat that all the way round okay, so now we're going to start on row 25 so single crochet in in five so one two, three, four, five, and decrease. Repeat, so one, two, three, four, five, and decrease. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, so now we're going to start on row 26, and that is four single crochets, decrease. So one, two, three, and four, decrease, oh, got a bit of a knot, okay, and you're going to repeat that, so another four single crochets, so one, two, three, four, and decrease and you're going to repeat that all the way around now we're going to stuff a little bit so i like to use pillow stuffing so i have loads of old pillows so i take the stuffing out of it and use that but any stuffing that you have will will do okay 
Okay, so that will be enough for me for now. Now row 27. Okay, so single crochet into three. One, two, three, and decrease. So single crochet two together. Repeat, so one, two, three, and decrease. And repeat that all the way around. Sorry guys, if you can hear banging, there's work going on next door to our house. So you might hear a few bangs and then it will stop but so now it stops I've started again so row 28 is two single crochets decrease so one two and decrease one two and decrease and you're gonna repeat this all the way around so the hole gets smaller just stuff a little bit more Okay, row 29 is one single crochet, decrease. So one single crochet, decrease. One single crochet, and decrease. And repeat that all the way around. Okay, and this last row we're going to decrease in every single stitch all the way around. Decrease, decrease, and that is my last decrease. Cut, cut a long piece of yarn because you're going to be sewing it onto the blanket. And this little hole, get a pe get a little piece of scissors or any something small so you can dig in the hole, so you can put more stuffing into it. So I'm going to stuff mine a little bit more, and I'm going to come back and show you how to sew the hole closed. Okay, so thread your needle. And you're going to go in, out through the next stitch, in through the next stitch, and out. In, out, and in. And you're going to pull on that string and it will close the hole. I'm just going to go in a few all the way around just to make sure that it's properly closed. And then get it to about here. And then we'll start sewing the head onto the blanket when we've finished doing the eyes. But we're not going to do the eyes at the minute. I'm going to show you how to do the ears next. Okay, so for the ears, you're going to make a magic ring. And you're going to do six single crochets into this magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And close get the hole shut. Get your stitch marker or piece of string. Now row two is increase in every single stitch. So two single crochet in every single stitch. 
all the way around. Okay, so now row one is one single crochet increase, so one, and then the next stitch, two in the same stitch. Repeat, so one, and then the next one, two in the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around, and I'll mute back when I've done mine. Okay, so now row four is two single crochets increase, so one, two, and in this third stitch, we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. Repeat, so one, two, and increase. And you repeat that all the way around. Now row five is single crochet in every single stitch all the way around. So one single crochet in every single stitch. Until you get to row eight. And I'll meet you back when I have done mine okay so I've done up to my row eight now you're going to slip stitch leave a long tail for sewing in the ends and sewing onto the head as well now get one of your needles Close that and sew this shut. Okay, so that one's done, and you're going to need two of them. Now we're going to start with the arms. So get your brown yarn, make a magic ring. And single crochet six into this magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And close it shut and now we're going to do one single crochet and increase so one single crochet and in the next stitch two single crochet in the same stitch repeat so one and then increase one And increase. Get more string. Now row three is two single crochets increase. So one, two, and in this third stitch you're going to do an increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. Repeat that. So one, two, and increase one two and increase now row four is a repeating row until row nine so you're going to single crochet in every single stitch all the way around until you get to row nine and i'll meet you guys back when i have done mine Okay, so I finished up to my row nine. Now we're going to change color. Go in, don't pull through these two loops. Get your pink yarn. And then with this pink, you pull through. 
stitch marker and now you're going to single crochet in every single stitch all the way around and you're going to repeat this all the way around until you get to row 22 and I'll meet you guys back when I have done mine and as you go along make sure you start stuffing because it gets harder if you wait until the end so once you get about this much um, stuff crochet a little bit more and then stuff okay so I've done my 22nd row now you're going to cut a long piece of string so you can sew it shut and to sew it onto the blanket stuff a little bit more And I like to do this to make sure it all goes in. Now get a needle. And now we're going to sew this closed. okay and you're going to be needing two of them and now i'm going to show you how to make the eyes on the head okay so get your head this will be the top and this part will be the bottom now you'll count 16 rows and attach underneath the 16th row and then one two three four five and then attach a needle now get a long piece of black string and we're gonna go from the bottom because this part will be hidden so we're gonna go in from the bottom and go in to there then go into this part and then come out of the Next bit from there. So it will be one, two, and three. So you're going to here. So just put your needle there and then you're going to count. So if you go up, it will be that stitch. You're going to count two. So one, two, and you're going to come out of this stitch. There's the nose. Now five rows, five holes, so one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go into here and up through that stitch. Go into the and then one, two, three. I hope this part makes sense if not then I'll keep it straight so then you can eyeball it yourself so from here one two we're gonna go into that hole again five so one two three four five And go up one, go up three, so one, two, three, and then you go 
all the way down. And that will be the eyes and nose. But if you like, I've only done it a small one. But if you look at this one, you can make it go a little bit more out. And then you're going to tie a knot with these two. And then you're going to get these both ends and you're going to hide them into the head and that will be done. And then you're going to get pink yarn. And I'll meet you back when I've got mine. Oh. So I've put in my ends in the head. And I'm just going to use um, some pink that I'm trying to finish. But you can use the same pink that you did for the blanket. So get your needle. Get your little needles and we're going to put one here. I'm oh, sorry, not there, we're going to put it here. And then one, two, three stitches apart. There. One, two, and three. Now we're going to go from the bottom again. And then you go all the way down to the bottom again. You make a knot again. And weave in these ends into the head. And then I'm going to show you how to put the ears on. Okay, so I've gone ahead and pinned mine. So I pinned mine from one, two, three, from the fourth stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, down until the fourteenth row. So I'm a very slow sewer, so I'm going to go ahead and sew mine, but that's where you should pin yours and sew them, and I'll be back when I've done mine. Okay, so on this circle right here, this is where you're going to sew the head onto. So go ahead and sew that on and I'll meet you back when I've done mine. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sewn on my head and it will look something like this. That's the bottom. And that is the top. And then you're going to go and get your arms and you're going to sew half of it, like one half to the head and the other half to the blanket. So just there. And then when you are done, you have something like this. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked my video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. That will really help me out so much. Yeah, thank you for watching.